hello guys welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video and please don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and also by subscribing to this channel in this video we will talk about the java string compared to method which is used to compare two string values and uh, as a disclaimer this method the java string compared to method is used to compare string values only this means that it will only allow us to compare a string with another string. Uh, if you try to use it to compare like um, integer number, an integer number with another integer number, you will get an error. So I'm going to make another video where I will show you how to compare uh, an integer number with another integer number or a decimal number with another decimal number. So when comparing between string values, each character of both string values being compared is converted into a Unicode value. And uh, if both string values that are being compared are the same, then the method will return the value of zero. And if the string value is, uh, that is being compared is inferior to the one inside the brackets, as you can see here, so if uh, sentence one here is inferior to or less than uh, sentence two, then the method will return a negative value. But if the value of uh, sentence one is uh, superior or greater than the value of sentence two, which is inside the brackets here, uh, the method will return a positive value so i will show you so let me first of all explain this code so here i have uh three strings that i'm going to use throughout this uh, example so the first string i've called it sentence one the second one is sentence two the third one is sentence three and here i have the int uh, and i've called it value so this is the variable that is going to store the value that will be um, returned whenever this method is evaluated, okay? And uh, so here I'm doing a system of how that print line, I have my string here and then the concatenation operator and value. So value here will is the variable that is storing the value being returned whenever my method is evaluated. So all I'm doing here is I'm comparing sentence one with sentence two. So I'm comparing hello world and uh, how are you doing today? Because that is my sentence two. And if I run, you will see the result in my console here. So it's giving me minus 10. So as I said, I'm getting minus 10 here because sentence one the value of sentence one as i said when comparing between two strings uh each character of the string is converted into a unicode value so this string is converted into a unicode value and its value is uh less than the value of sentence two so that's why we are getting um minus 10 here and if i change some few stuff here and i say that i want to compare sentence two with sentence three so i will do sentence two here sentence three here and as you can see uh, from what i have written here in my uh, code here sentence two and sentence three are the same and as i said if the two strings are the same, so it will return the value of zero. Okay, so if I run, I'm supposed to get zero here. So that's the zero I'm getting here. So this is to tell us that sentence two and sentence three um, is actually the same, um, you know, the same string, you know, they have the same uh, character. So you can see it with your own eyes as it's written here on the screen. But in terms of writing the code to check whether it's uh, really, this, the, the two strings are really the same, this is how you can write 
that code, okay? And as we did with uh, the previous videos, you could, instead of doing this int value and then uh, the assignment statement and then this argument or this statement here, you could directly copy this and then replace the value here with this statement. Like I could actually do this. Um, copy and come and paste it directly here okay so if i run i will still get the same result zero okay so that's pretty much the same thing so and also we've used the um, here we've used variables but one thing we could also do was to let's say for example i want to compare sentence one and I want to compare it with a string. And this string I will directly write in here by saying, hello world. I will say hello world like this. Okay, and make sure that it's the same uh, characters that we have in sentence one here. So, and then if here I will say, I want to compare sentence one and uh, a string and a string value okay so this string value here is not stored in any variable at all okay but i'm just uh, i just want to compare it with my sentence one and this will also work i will get zero because what i have written here is actually the same thing that is being stored in sentence one but you will see that if I change uh, this string value a little bit, and then if I run, I'll get minus one because I have changed it. I have removed the space between world and then the exclamation mark. And so that's actually how you compare the string values. So you get zero if the two strings are the same. You get either a negative number or a positive number if uh, the two strings that you are comparing are different from each other. And the last thing that we need to note is that the Java string uh, compared to method is case sensitive, okay? So even though here, hello world is the same thing, is the same as the one that is being stored in sentence one, here I get zero you will see that if i change this hello world and i put every single character in uh, uppercase hit like this and then if i run my program i'll get 32 okay 32 why because my Java string compared to method is case sensitive. So the way it says it, it's like, hello world is different from this hello world, which is in all caps. Okay, so it's case sensitive. So you have to uh, make sure that when you're comparing, like if you're expecting the two strings to be um, equal, to be the same, you have to make sure that the caps are well respected in each of the strings and that you get the same uh, in order to get uh, the value zero here, that will tell you that your strings are actually the same. And also if you want to, if you would like to ignore the case of uh, both strings while comparing them, uh, you can use another method, which is called the um, compare to ignore case method, okay? So instead of writing compared to here, you could write compared to ig, ignore case like this. So with this one, compared to ignore case, if I run, you see that I get zero here. So what it has done is that it has ignored the case, uh, the uppercase in this string here. So it's considering uh, each character as being the same, whether it's in caps or it in the lowercase uh, format. 
So you can use the ignore, uh, the compared to ignore case if you are not sure about uh, the lowercase and uppercase in the strings, or you can straight use the compared to method, uh, keeping in mind that it's actually case sensitive. So guys, that was it concerning the um, Java string compared to method. And uh, I hope the video was informative and thanks for viewing. Uh, let's meet in the next video. Bye.